What if we buried them in the sand? Boom traps. But then we might blow up everyone, not just the machines. Hmm. What are you two working on? Red! We're making boom plans. Ah, oh, we struck a deal with Abaddon when we got back. Turns out this place is gonna need some security for all those machines out there. And when he heard how Boomer's invention helped you take down the vanishing dread, we convinced him we were right for the job. Now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna keep the machines away without blowing everyone sky high. Not everyone. The flying ones are already in the sky. Sounds like you both have a lot of work ahead of you. And a place to call home. Home of the Boomworks. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on that name. So the Boom Sisters wandered back into camp. I knew sending you out there was a solid bet. And now, they have a new project to set their minds to. I heard you had something to do with that. A good shardsman knows how to turn impending disaster into opportunity. And speaking of shards, you here to buy something? Good fortunes to you. See you later, Abedant. who smiled warmly with the promise of another adventure. Stemmer, did you need something? As a new dream dawned for the adventuring trio, they returned to the depths of the formerly sunken city, where fortune was found behind every crumbling wall as a bulging keg bursts with free-flowing ale. That is, we broke our way into more of the ruins below, and in one of them, the wordsmith beheld a glimmering gizmo, a wonder among a sea of wonders. Alas, the gizmo lay beyond his grasp. You saw some kind of gizmo but couldn't get it? A door bars the way, locked by some confounding means. Moreland contemplated explosives, but Abaddon thought the odds of crushing the gizmo under rubble were too high. For once, the shard counter skepticism might be warranted. The old wordsmith's hopes were dashed, until a friend with a knack for performing the impossible returned from beyond the sands. Might I persuade you to venture beneath the desert once more? I'll see what I can do. Where is this place? Once you're down there, take a ride at the statue of the giant man. The ruin rests beside a metal tower. And so our heroine went forth, and the wordsmith's hopes went with her. How about a game of machine? There's the giant statue that Stemmer mentioned. The ruin should be nearby.
side and then the tower. I guess my stomach's after should be inside. Now, where's that gizmo? There. That must be the gizmo. Looks like this door needs a code to open. I should check around the ruin, see if I can find anything that might help. What's in here? Gizmo is actually called an ornament. Found one of these in another ruin. It sounds like there are more out there. And it looks like there's part of the code. Might be for the door. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. Top's blocked. A hatch. Might lead to another part of the ruin. But how to get to it? Maybe there's a way to pull the top crate off. the opening now. Back outside. What else is up here? I think I can pull that metal thing out of the wall. Looks like the ornaments were part of something called the Knights of Lights holiday promotion? A way to celebrate old world holidays by changing the holograms above ground? But how? The other part of the code's here too. I should have what I need to open the door.
Got it. Time to head back up to Stemmer. Maybe we can figure out how to make this thing work. Strike pieces. The Nora returned, but did she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith. Keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. I think there are more scattered in ruins beyond the desert. I might be able to track them down. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Light's Holiday Promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. I think a holiday marked a seasonal event? And so does every feast in the claim. There's the Feast of the First Keg, the Feast of Fermentation, the All Hops Feast. All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. It might be able to turn on the lights. Mm, time to find out. Which one should I try first? Let's go with this one. I'll get right to it. Oh, hi! Ah, this must have been the feast of the crescent moon. Couldn't have celebrated every crescent moon, could they? By the forge, that'd be a lot of feasts. Let me know if you find any more of those ornaments. I wonder what other holidays the old ones celebrated. From journeys unknown, the Nora returned to the teller of tales and keeper of ornaments. So, what'll it be? Let's see this one. You got it. Beneath the cascade of golden leaves, the old wordsmith found himself reflecting inwards, a meditation of the mind, and a calming of the spirit. The old wordsmith's heart warmed as a friend returned. So, did you want to make some changes around here? Let's put this one up. By our heroine's word, the lights would dazzle the sky. Hello there. As sure as sparks kindle flame, this must have been some kind of winter festival. But what kind of beast is that? Almost looks like a fang horn. 
danger ahead. So she entered once more, our heroine whom all adore. So, are you feeling festive? Pack your pick. I want to see this one. And so the wordsmith set out to bring new light to the ruins above. Why by the forge would the old ones celebrate some kind of green leaf? It's for luck, I think. It's rude to stare. Aloy, this old wordsmith is always happy to see you. So, what can I do for you? This one seems good. I hope Abaddon is ready for this. Now, what do rabbits, eggs, and flowers have to do with each other? Signs of spring, maybe. Good to see you again, Aloy. So, did you want to change the lights? Let's see this one. You got it. Showers of sparks and serpents. Whatever they were celebrating, it must have been quite a festival. Like that Osram Delver said. I forgot to mention it was built under a Horus. What are they doing here? Anything to report? I'll shout if I see anything. It doesn't feel right. Just can't put my finger on it. Is <laughs> that an arrow? Escape. They could do it again. Don't give me hope. There has to be some spies. Grove is a fluke. Has to be. Oh! 
I knew it! We're under attack! I'm spotted.
too. I figure out what these guys are to I want to find whoever's in charge. I do not like the look of this place. Isn't your first search? No I'll more find. hiding. on the go.
if I do? used to override machines. So, if I get rid of it, Rebels will have fewer of them. Thinking of desert, I find out. to add more machines to their army? I should find whoever's in charge. Make sure I shut this place down for good. do with this.
think this is where they run the camp. Sure, the Tanakh stopped the Karja, but it was the Osirim who took the lead. Okay, we found nothing. Call it all. So let's go back. We were right to have a look around. anything now. Me. To all engineers and operatives, find the Nora that's been picking apart our facilities. And if anyone calls her savior or champion to my face again, I'm gonna punch him in the throat! Sarah! We need you! Hold on to your cogs, I'll be right there! I want her found, and I want her dead. And bring me her focus when you're done. That silence would hate it if I got hold of all that data. So there it is. Silence is involved with the sons of Prometheus. Orders to increase the number of machines being captured and overridden. That is not good. machine to work. That's what the equipment outside is for. They pierce through a machine's armor and insert the module to override it. So the rebels harvest ancient corruptors in the area to get override modules. And I'm guessing the Sons of Prometheus modify them to be shoved into machines permanently. Now they have orders to override a lot more of them. It will be hard with their equipment destroyed. I could go. Or I could take out the rest of the rebels. I've dealt with the main threat here either way. Thank you. 
Spears. Built the override module on my spear from one of them. Now the sons of Prometheus are using them too. Everything's sticking. Ugh, oh, damn this heat. <laughs> <laughs> 